Welcome back viewers, um, this is the morning show Banjo and we're moving into our third segment which is business profile which as always is spearheaded by our beautiful Aisha. What do you have for us Aisha? Mungok, Aisha is a new one, Aisha is a new one, business profile, Buba Bama. Mamma, <laughs> 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 Je suis un jeune entrepreneur, je suis un GCCI, un ambassadeur de la Je suis un société qui a été créée par l'agriculture. Je suis un peu plus fort. 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 Je suis de 16 km de la C'est le de la C'est le de la C'est le de la C'est le de la C'est C'est le de la C'est le de la C'est le de la de la C'est le So, c'est un business name is Agrotech. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you, depuis quand vous commencez à faire des choses, vous avez fait des choses comme Noble Agrotech. Oui, Agrotech, c'est mon idée de business. Quand j'étais 14 ans, c'était en 2004. Donc, j'ai commencé à faire cette idée de développer cette idée. Oui, c'est ça, 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 Bah, dia fikir uang dua belas ribu sih, fikir kasu agi ia fikir lebih ni. So, lontar nabi mau build start di build di interest. So, ia 2004 siling start di harvest. So, di start di harvest yang kasu ini dan magis nilai ni. Semua si semua si tiada semua nyari lor elok mula sih gua. Well, my father semua papa tafsir ni kongkong ni was just trying to push me up because I was the only son in the family. Alfusar lagi wah, kau muka setan yang video bima bayan rakyat tamat, lo ni amlingen fayuaku, nujal itu betul. Good. I have seen the revival of agriculture in Gambia, which really pleased my heart because I'm son of a farmer. Mashallah. Mashallah. Bayan ham. Wow. Yeah, and 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 some years ago, you know, people think that farming is. Ya. So this is good. I might venture into it soon. Definitely. I get my apparent. I'm going to get it. 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 Ma kau yang garis, no, the government, government is doing a great efforts when it comes to agriculture. Um, so this is a national development plan. Agriculture is a key priority. No, my one direct, even the government is not um reluctant because some time they are committed towards the um the agricultural sector. So you see, time they have to take the lead. They just now came to my job. I'm not so a trap. They were never con congratulate. They hopefully, you time they see just in Bobo, Bobo, they feel they've got. That's why we are going to be working with them. 
Uh, most definitely. Kimo uh, Mjambarla. Uh, Why also, another thing that I would like to ask Buba, since you are a son of a farmer <laughs> and you, you know, you have been in the farming, uh, big, uh, in a farming family. Mm -hmm. So, um, we've all realized that most people in the Gambia keep saying that our lands are not suitable for farming because it's muddy, it cannot accommodate all the things that we can grow on it. What is your take on it? Do you believe that our um, lands are not suitable for farming? No, those, that, that's a very wrong and misleading account. I mean, the guy may have a very, very fertile land in this country. Ooh. Yeah, because uh, I have seen growing up in, 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 in Silicon, I have seen people who have not, you know, not much farming equipment. Mm -hmm. And they've been pulling out more than, more than, uh, a few seventy donkeys. What they call seventy donkeys? Donkey. Mean like a, a two bag, two bag of uh, of grammar is called donkey. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. agricultural Agri terms. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's lo locally they call it Local. donkey. Like, okay. like one donkey, two donkey. You know, not for mm. not, not for for sort of for <laughs> right. Right. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, but the problem is, uh, the farmers need farm equipment. Mint. Farmers need fertilizers, mm -hmm. right? Because uh, you, you will see some people, they have they have a lot of uh, fertile land, but they don't have farm equipment. They are poor. Mm -hmm. you know, so they just they just cultivate a small piece of land. No. That they oh, yeah. Grow. And I also so hear about land yeah. issues. Like they, the lands that they are using to cultivate their crops, mm -hmm. they don't own it. So most of the uh, um, profit or the money that they make off of their produce, mm -hmm. it normally goes back to the person that they are using his or her land. Is that true? Not to my knowledge. Yeah. At, least, oh. at, at least from the region that I came from, mm -hmm. uh, like my family owns uh, a very mighty land. Come oh. from here to maybe Macau, Stinko. And we have other farmers who own different stuff. But some, what, what we do is, uh, if you want to farm on our land, mm -hmm. we can borrow you for a year. Mm -hmm. after, after the farm is said, you turn it. Okay. Interesting. Well, uh, that's that's amazing. Amazing. We have, we have yeah. very fertile and vast land in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And I think even the river alone, we can sustain ourselves using exactly. the river. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. the problem is we, we lack the commitment. Mm -hmm. And education is played play mm -hmm. a factor. Mm -hmm. um, if you are educated to a certain level in the Gambia, you feel that you can no longer go back to the farm. Mm -hmm. uh, which is quite wrong. And most of people I had, even university students who are telling me that for me, I cannot do any other work rather than going to office because that is what they specialize themselves. But I'm telling them you are not yet, you are not yet an expert in your work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And agriculture does not need you to be an expert to engage mm -hmm. yourself yeah. into. Mm -hmm. So the human resources and human determination is a problem in the Gambia. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, used like this, I think even the hotel industry should um, be having contracts with them whatsoever they produce, they help them. Mm -hmm. And we should do uh, what the, my former president used mm -hmm. to say, eat what you, you grow, grow and grow what you eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was very right with that. I think th that was one of his solo slogan that was definitely perfect for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the youth of this country have definitely provided a prime example because uh, I have seen youth who won at least forty-seven thousand dollars from the year project, mm -hmm. and they went back to the land. Yeah, that, which you know, they are making, making yeah. business oh. and they are making hell lot of money. money so exactly. who told you that the land is not fertile? Go back to him and tell that you. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but you as you can that, see, right like, like the raining season is a fast approaching. Mm -hmm. We should also help the farmers with also seeds because yeah, they, exactly. they, 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 it's yeah. their time. Uh, and even fertilizers like, and equipment, yeah, like he just said. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. But, but, but so, when we say that Alpha Sar, like I share, like them, then tell you, you go say that on TV. So, we have a full play of the whole program. My boy, Ami, you target us a segment. Yeah, I, as you guys saw uh, on the video and the discussion here, this is uh, these are some th uh, things that we should definitely talk about because farming, it's not should not be um, looked at as a poor man's yeah. job because yeah. it's one thing. Like they say, agriculture is the backbone of the nation. So. So let's focus on that and, you know, develop our country and we shall go forward from there. So this brings us to the end of um, the third segment. We'll be moving on to the fourth segment right after this break. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere.